Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Another day, another new all-time high my friends. Bitcoin is again pushing to the upside and before we start with the content because today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, we're going to have a look into the Bitcoin dominance and also we're going to have a look into the CME chart. And before we start with that my friends, congratulations to everyone that longed this breakout because yesterday we were pointing out that we were about to break out from this bearish pattern here, this rising wedge and since Bitcoin is still in an uptrend and we are still closing bullish above all the moving averages in the daily and all in the lower time frames we are still shifted to the upside and we will still see continuation to the upside as long as we are closing four hour candles above important moving averages and of course above important supports level so yesterday we had here this nice breakout to the upside and although we had already a confirmation that the old resistance is now new support and and as you can see we are bouncing still here from the 20 moving average in the four hour and it also looks like that so far we didn't see a blow off top so we could see continuation here to the upside of course there's a lot of warning signs we have still some bearish divergences and although we could expect at any time a big dump or at least a bigger correction for the short term to then bottom out and continue our upwards trend because we also gonna have a look quickly into the stock to flow model and where we are right now so we are still on track with our way towards 100k and as long as we're not seeing a bearish close below an important moving average or support we should expect to the price to go higher and higher so if you still need to open up a long position if you didn't enter yet a long position then wait for a possible 9 or 20 moving average retest here in the four hour time frame we already tested it but it is very likely that we're gonna go again down here towards uh, 32,000 maybe even down towards 30,500 to test these moving averages again and then continue to go to the upside it is very likely but be still aware my friends that if we are starting to close four hour candles below these two important supports now we could be in a bigger correction at least towards the 200 moving average down here at 22,000 $500 so even though the lower time frames are looking very bullish and we should expect continuation to the upside be aware that a correction can happen at any time soon since we never had a massive correction a massive dump and everyone is sitting in profits right now doesn't matter where you bought in right now everyone is in profits and now since we are in the four hour time frame if we have a look into the CME chart you can see that the CME stopped trading here at $29,000 $200 so tomorrow on Monday as soon as the CMEs are starting to trade again we're gonna see here a massive new CME gap above of us because if we are starting at those price levels that we are right now here the CMEs we're gonna have a huge gap of around five thousand dollars and this is really insane my friends I know that some of you don't think that we will ever come down again to fill all these gaps that we have even down here towards seventeen thousand dollar but if you are here in the crypto space since the CMEs are trading so since the end of 2017 you would have known by now that those CME gaps very likely get filled sooner or later so at any point point of time we could come down to close these CME gaps that we now created below of us then create a bottom and then continue our way towards 100k and higher during our massive bull run in which we are in right now because if we go over into the stock to flow model you can clearly see that currently we are on our way to the upside towards 100k after the halving and also the breakout from 10k that we had last year so you can see that Bitcoin is perfectly falling following here the stock to flow model and right now at the time of recording we should be at least at around $26,000 so usually it is always good to take a bit of profits whenever we are overshooting the stock to flow model price and then rebuy back in once we are again below but in this phase here until we're gonna reach the final target of 100k I think it is too risky and too early to start to already now take huge profits out maybe a little bit just to be ready to buy in the dip 
shape if we're gonna see a correction towards 26,000 maybe even below but otherwise during this phase you just have to try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible and only start to take some profits out once we're gonna overshoot the stock to flow model price here at 100k so even if we reach a 100k that doesn't mean that we're gonna top out here but at least until we're gonna reach here the stock to flow price model you should be accumulating and start to think about to take some profits out at least a little bit once we are overshooting here the stock to flow model price so you can rebuy back in later cheaper if we're coming down again similar like we also had in the past but right now at the time of recording we are right at this stage here where you should try to accumulate as much bitcoins as possible and since right now we are overshooting the price model it is possible that maybe we're gonna dip again down here towards 26,000 potentially even go a bit lower and then again continue our way towards 100k so if you have no cash on the sideline it is okay right now to take a little bit of cash out so you're ready to buy the dip if there is gonna be a bigger dip on the way up here towards 100k but also be sure that you're not going to panic sell if we see a dip or sell all your bitcoins right now because it is way too early my friends and we are still in the beginning here of this massive bull run we're gonna reach this 100k approximately in September this year so I think until September there's a long way to go and until then many things can happen we can see many of these massive pumps but but also dumps during the run up until 100k and as soon as we're gonna meet here the stock to flow price model there I think we're gonna see big fireworks to the upside which will lead into a big overshoot from this price model and there is where we could start to take some profits out just in case that if we're gonna see another big crash like we also had in 2018 that you can buy more Bitcoin at a cheaper price and now let's go back to the Bitstamp chart and open up the daily time frame so here you can see again that we are going completely parabolic and slowly this is looking like a hockey stick pattern where we're seeing here just a huge stick to the upside so I think the blow off top still have to come this was not the top in my opinion and most likely the final move will be quite huge because since we're breaking now this 30k resistance and we're still consolidating above I think it is very likely that we could see here a big push towards $46,000 because this is also the next FIB extension based on the last all-time high and the last bottom at 3k that we had so only because of this I think we could see a potential blow off top incoming pretty soon here and then a potential correction towards those important moving averages especially here the 9 daily here at 30 K and the 20 daily moving average at $26,000 and if we're coming that low I think it is also very likely that we could go to fill also all the CME gaps that we have below of us and at the same time also come down and retest the important supports that we have here at the 9 weekly moving average still at $21,300 and the 20 weekly right here at $15,400. So even though Bitcoin is still looking so bullish and the targets are way above 100k by the end of this year, on the way up we're gonna see a lot of pump and dumps and if you want to take some cash out, for example right now it wouldn't be too bad to take a little bit of cash out just in case that you don't have any on the sideline and you want to take advantage of a potential dip or correction towards these important moving averages and also if we are going to top out here you can see that currently the 0.618 fib line is exactly lining up with the 20 weekly moving average right here at 15,000 $200 so tomorrow we have to update these moving averages because they will be higher and it is also possible that we will break also this all-time high that we created today here of around $35,000 and then also have to adjust here the Fibonacci retracement but basically you can see here the targets if we're gonna see a massive correction where we're gonna go and this is where you have to try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible and also scale in some nice long positions over on Bybit and Femex because like this you can do really life-changing money here for the next big run that will come towards 100k and higher so what we are seeing right now in my opinion of course is still very bullish and we will see also continue 
continuation here in the next couple of hours but let's wait and see what will happen this coming week when also the traditional markets are going to open again if the stock markets just continue to pump then i think also bitcoin will go higher without any kind of correction but if we're seeing somehow of a correction in the stock market maybe a bigger dip in the s p 500 then maybe bitcoin could also follow and we're gonna see this correction but as long as the stock market is pumping and as long as we are not closing at least a daily candle below the nine daily moving average currently right here at $29,000 we are shifted to the upside and you should try to long every dip that we're gonna see on the way up so right now i'm expecting continuation to the upside my friends congratulations to every hodler never go short on bitcoin when we are in this massive bull run even though we could see at any time a correction but if we see a correction take it as a long opportunity buy more bitcoin and enjoy the ride to the upside so let's see if we are able to see a potential blow off top even towards forty six thousand dollar, which is the next fibonacci extension it is very likely that we could even reach this price level before any kind of bigger correction but my friends right now everyone is really in FOMO mode and we are just going higher and higher without any kind of bigger correction or dip so sooner or later a correction will come a massive one but for now we are shifted to the upside and for now everything is also pointing out that we will see big continuations to the upside and now we're gonna also have a look into the bitcoin dominance because right now as you can see the bitcoin dominance is rising here as expected we are now facing a little bit of resistance here in the 75 percent area as expected let's see if we're able to push here towards 75 maybe even towards 80 percent it is still possible that we're gonna reach this high dominance but sooner or later we're gonna see here a possible rejection and another correction here in the dominance to the downside and that will lead into at least little altcoin season and already now you can see that some of the altcoins are pushing to the upside especially ethereum right now is breaking 800 dollar which of course is also very bullish so also some altcoins slowly are following bitcoin and i think especially here on ethereum we still have a lot of room left to the upside we are still far away from the old all-time high so here i'm sure you can also do some very massive gains as soon as the bitcoin dominance is starting to drop again but so far it is still looking like that we're gonna see the bitcoin dominance rising towards 75 to 80 percent before here maybe you're gonna see a correction and at least a little altcoin season rising because the altcoins will do also very nicely and if you're doing some swing trades for example over on binance make sure to take always profits out into bitcoin to multiply your bitcoin this kind of swing trades with altcoins i always recommend you to do only for short-lived trades and not for the long term and if you still need a binance coinbase or swiss borg account where you can easily do these swing trades and of course also buy and sell cryptos then use my referral links down below here because with my links you can get some free money and some free cryptos so you can buy even more bitcoin and of course if you still need a bybit or femex account where you can trade bitcoin ethereum and so on with leverage then also use my links down below here because you support the channel and also you will get some extra bonus so you can do also some free trades with that money so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you again very much for your support i would very much appreciate if you can hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and also feel free to join me over on twitch and discord all the links are down below here we have a very great crypto community over on discord so let's see what will happen once tomorrow the traditional markets are going to open again but one thing is for sure bitcoin is in a huge bull run and we are still at the beginning my friends so enjoy the ride and make sure that you're subscribed here in the channel so we can fly together to the moon thank you very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye for now mm -hmm.